In today's mini lesson, we will be answering the question, when do I use your and when do I use your? This is something that may have confused you before, but it won't anymore after this video. Don't forget to copy down what is color coded in purple for you on these slides. So on the next blank page in your writing notebook, go ahead and write this. The words your and your are often confused. They sound the same, but have entirely different meanings. Your, Y-O-U-R, means that something belongs to you. Your is possessive, showing something that belongs to the person you are speaking to. Linus's blanket belongs to him. So we could say, Linus, that's your blanket. Your, Y-O-U-R, shows possession. When do you use your? Whenever something is yours. I have a cupcake, but... Your cupcake looks tastier. Your, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, is actually the words U plus R combined. So go ahead and write this word equation in your writing notebook. Your with an apostrophe is a contraction of the words U and R. The apostrophe shows that the letter A is missing. We could say, you are the coolest person I have ever met. But as a contraction, the sentence would be, you're the coolest person I have ever met. Check out where the apostrophe goes, where there's a missing letter. Here's a tip to write down. To know which word is correct, try the sentence using the words you are. If the sentence makes sense when you, with you are, then your, with an apostrophe re, is the correct usage. If the sentence does not make sense, then use your, just the plain way. Let's try a few together. What is your name or you are name? What is you are name or your name? Your name would be correct. How about this one? You can have all the cake you want. It's you are party or your party. Your party makes mo most sense. Do you see how trying out you are every time though is helping us recognize that it's wrong? Blank the tallest person in the room. You are the tallest person. Yes, you are works here too. And look, <laughs> call me when you're home safely. You are home safely? Oh wow, you are works for that one. So let's put in the U apostrophe RE. Call me when you're home safely. Sorry these were out of order, guys. Now you're ready to start your worksheet. For the first part, just circle whether the sentence is right or wrong the way that it is written. For the second part, go ahead and write which your it is. Remember, trying you are with each sentence is going to help you determine which one it is. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.